level or nothing. Like the art of music. That's what I came in doing. I love this. Do you um you think back to um when you and Drake had your fallout? Do you think back to your mental clarity at that time when you when that happened? I, I said that on the interview the other day. I was like I I was like out of control at that point. The way I was coming at everybody, I felt like a lot of people at that point. Like even like the way I was talking, the stuff I said, we had like little things that I ain't really agree with that I ain't feel when when I'm off the shits, I'm just off the shits, I'm just coming up thousand miles an hour like I don't give a fuck about nobody how I was coming and me as a person now when I'm not like that it's a whole different the way I handle things I think I could have approached things better but it is what it is mm-hmm. just stand up on two feet get it how you get man it. right yeah because you got to ain't no do you ever see a time uh when you and Drake have a conversation yeah we got people in the streets that we shot I've seen people that shot at me before we got a club yo you almost killed me that day yo it was crazy you know what I'm saying <laughs> And you shot 50 shots, you hit the car 20 times. It wasn't always like that for a long time, but you grow up, what you want to do? I ain't die. So we still it. here. So you would be open to having a conversation for them? Yeah, eventually one day it would come naturally. Everybody, like a lot of people try to like force that on me. Like, yo, I got myself into this. Yo, I like standing up on my feet. I like, I like trials and tribulations. I come from that. When I went to jail and stuff like that, can't nobody come up in there and fix that for me. I had to stand up and walk through that. Y'all would never see the inside story of that. That's the only thing I seen. I had to deal with that day by day. And let that knock that out of the box. So it could be on my shoulders. I could have did like, it was a lot of times I could have did like tapes with people, joint tapes and stuff. I'm like, let me stand on my feet and do what I got to do. And when I get in position, we do all that. We fix things on my end. And when I handle it, People went got me in position, like, yo, your back to the wall, you got to do this. Meek Mill, oh, this was like before DC4, I ain't going to be able to do nothing. This step, I'm going to stand on my feet. I'm going to show you what I do when I'm working. But you know, it's, it, let it be natural. I'm a, I'm a natural type of mover. We've been in that position before. We was supposed to be on the phone, put in front of you, jump. Let it be natural. Nobody can't fix this but me or him. I know you a long time, bro, man. I'm proud of you, man. Phil, what up, man? Come a long <laughs> way, baby. Yes, what man. up, baby? It's good to hear you so positive. Because, I, I, I mean, I remember thinking and grown, like, man. Right? Like, grown man shit. I ain't grown all the time. Sometimes, I mean, like, look, <laughs> look, man, I was just wilding out this morning. They yeah. had to pull my coach yes. on the radio like, yo, he bro, shut the fuck up. Yeah, sometimes Saying too like much, that. but it happens, right? But being a man is a part of acknowledging, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I was going left. I was going left. Let me reel it back in. Yeah, I was wild. You know what I mean? I just see me in the hood, riding around, beefing with dudes in the hood. I was, I was out of control. That's just what it was. You know, I got it back. That's all that matter. Your song, Young Black America. Man, listen. Uh, Young Black American, too, that is one of his best songs he made. But this is what I was telling you about, about people growing up. You know, and people don't pat them on the back and you know, and say, hey, man, you know, you're doing the right thing. But to admit that you were out of control at one point, that's half the battle. You know, that's a big, that's a very big step. Some people can't get by that fact. You know, they can't get past that. Man, you know, I, I was right there, man, and I was right there to do this and that, and I couldn't do it, and you know, it's just, it, it is what it is. So, at that point, I could say I understand what they were saying about Meek Mill when he uh, got in his situation before, you know, and he was talking about, now nah, he wasn't 100% honest when he was talking about his back against the wall. But in this situation, when he was talking about one day we're going to do this and that, they had already spoke. I mean, it wasn't like the point where they finna perform yet, but they had already spoke. You know what I'm saying? And the fact is that people's like, oh, you gotta get do this mixtape, you gotta get on this and that and this, and he was like, look, let me get myself to count. That was what other people was telling him, like, man, you gotta get yourself out of this jam, then other people wanna mess with you. Because there wasn't nobody, a lot of people weren't trying to mess with me at that time. It was, like, toxic to them to mess with me. So definitely subscribe to One Crack News. Everybody out there in the world, 
This is a flashback moment to let you know how things were when people were coming into what they were coming into at the time. We just wanted to shed some light on it to let you know when people's minds were changing and they were growing up and that it's possible. So a lot of people didn't get to hear these things and get to hear these in crucial moments in time. So definitely um, respect to all of you. I'm out. Y'all have a blessed, very blessed day.